to Dishonored. Hi. Oh, you did the intro. Who are you? I'm Sarah. I'm Alfred. Ooh, and we're here together. Yeah. All right. Um, just woke up from my sleep. Really weird feeling. It was like a teacup in my armpit or something. Oh, no. Hey, what's up, Emily? Did you do that, Corvo? <laughs> what did she say? Did you do that? Hold on. Let me go find another bottle to throw at my daughter. The ascendant. Does this hurt it's me? a great English sport. Ow. That does hurt, as it happens. Oh my god, I just noticed, I just realized that these are the cages that they keep the dogs in, and then they slide them open for uh, for the fights. There's something in there, I want to see it. It's like a little basket. Yeah, it's a little dish, maybe? Maybe. What's up, poop? I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. <laughs> See, in addition to being a uh, Renaissance man in terms of science, he's also uh, a wicked good painter. Um, you might have seen him in the... Because now, now uh, Dishonored is actually coming out, and Sarah's able to watch it without, you know, hacking into my PC. But he's the guy painting um, the guy's portrait in the first episode. Do you think he's a little self-conscious and he, uh, like, um, compensates by trying to hold his back really straight? Royal Who? This guy. I you and or do you think he's actually that confident? I, I think that he has something stuck up his ass. Maybe like a pole. Yeah. Ah, my God. I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one who is sorting the most wanted man in the Empire. I'm going to wait my until I see what Corvo that does. Was innocent. And the former spy or the Lord he can get a toilet in there. Well, let's take a look. Bent on All the spheres. The heart of the Empire. There we go. This is, yeah, this is one of the fictional books they have. Feel free to pause it. Bam. Wait, wait, can I read it? If you think there's love between me and our Lord. Oh, reading it out loud, yeah. Orchando was elated, like a boy of 16 on the eve of the Fugue Feast. When we are back in, in Crystal. Crystal, I'll be named Royal Physician, or you'll be burned for heresy, Third Prefect. All depends on what we find when we get there. My master's voice was different, as if the air of the outer spheres added qualities normally absent, uncertainty, weakness, fear. I risked another glance at the monolithic structure in the distance. It was a wonder for or Archando, a puzzle for Overseer Brian, and for me, a towering monument to emptiness. Oh, magnificent shrine to madness. Ooh, what's it about? Whatever you I don't know. To do here, Maybe we can track them down. I am There's a few of them, actually. Scared. But Wealthy and training hounds. Hey, this is about dog abuse, more or less. Even if they don't carry I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you... Yeah, those rats, they can really... They can just go to town on a motherfucker. The I'll show you. Now, Admiral. Actually, I have shown him in that Doom timeline. I, I did <laughs> let rats eat him. We know you lest we forget. The very aristocrat was funding the military with her fortune. Donald Whiskey. She is the key. The Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must. So many people say it Dunwall, Sorry, I cannot but a lot of people uh, pronounce similar words without the W. Like, I've heard some people say that Dunwich is actually Dunish. Or Dunwich? What's Dunwich? It is the setting of a uh, Lovecraft book. One of the better ones, as a matter of fact. What's up? I think it's anything in a Lovecraft story is up to interpretation on how to pronounce. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, Corvo. What's your preference on how to pronounce um, the guy who sleeps in Rilla? Pardon? It's Cthulhu, but I don't want to say that and flavor your pronunciation oh, of sure. it. Oh, sure. I I prefer Cthulhu. Um, I think that's how. It's either how Wooly or Pat says it from Two Best Friends play, and yeah. I think that's that's like how I heard it, maybe one of the first ways I heard it, and I was like, oh yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, Pat says Cthulhu. Um, I don't know what the Irish way, or, oh, no, 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 I think the original way was to say it, like, one of the British, uh, or British or Irish islands, and it's Karuru or something like that. 
Do you, have, you, have you heard that one? This Am I making that up? I don't remember. <laughs> it sounds weird enough that it could be real. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Let's see if the rats are hungry. Come on. Like we weren't gonna do this in the all rat playthrough? Not right. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall. But I'll only tell the rats. I can only tell you so much. Joke's on you, Soki. They'll come back and tell me. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you. She still makes <laughs> There they go, down in that little pit. So there's meat down in that pit, and that's how they lure rats in and out of places. To her at a ball Isn't that funny? This very night. But I will miss that Is the meat the old prisoners? <laughs> ball, <laughs> Could be. Tonight, the timing is wow, coincidentally, there's a masked ball Boyle tonight. So yeah, we're going to a fucking masquerade oh, ball. This is like this is like some course, fan fiction AU. You <laughs> it is. The mask. the masked the masquerade. But look, look, you yes, already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? So I'm putting on my regular assassin mask and, and going to a ball with it. So when he says that he was drawing her from behind, is that like any way? Is he like a? I don't think he's creeping. I think he, I think it's just a, a matter of. No, no, no. I don't. I don't mean it in that way. Was it supposed to be like some form of like? I, have just I don't know. Favorite. Not sexual Lord painting, Shaw. but some type of romantic Lord painting. Shaw. No, because it's someone else's guy. You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. Are we going to get fact, to see this painting? He may be looking for I'm not sure. Actually, we might. I really like when they call back to things like that, like uh, art pieces and whatnot, and they, they speak about it, and then, yeah. or they even just, you know, glimpse over it, like in, I was, a, uh, in an item description. You might have, see it later. Yeah, you might have seen it in Cry of Fear, which is going up now. Um... Yeah, you were talking about the Renaissance painting. Yeah, yeah. I love fake Renaissance paintings and um, classical portraits and shit like that in games. Because, like, it just, it, it's so much more work that you don't need. Your concept art can just be, like, Michael Kirkbride's fucking shitty pen and uh, uh, printer paper sketches, you know? But I, I love it when they, when they look like that. Well, uh, I, I absolutely know what you're talking about, and I also love it because it makes the colors the, the colors are so beautiful and i don't know anything about art theory so that's all i can say but um i really like when they put a, a spin of comedy on it as well yeah like to see like i'm pretty sure i saw a deadpool renaissance deadpool renaissance paintings are good yeah yeah oh 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 i know it looks i was inventing a new kind of lock the tumblers shaped like Snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. What do you think? Uh, ooh, ooh, yeah, go that one, do that one. <laughs> I realize, well, everything you're thinking I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman. Sure, Piero. Or, I kind of believe him. I Am try. I wrong for liking Piero? I kind of like him. He's one of the better. Yeah, I don't mind him. Like, he's a stand-up guy. Let's see. What's he looking at? Ooh. Oh, actually, he is looking at her? Yeah. Oh. Who is that lady? Uh, Callista, I think. So is he actually, like, peeping? Yes. He literally oh. came out and said, yes, I was looking through the lock. Oh, got you. That's what he, he meant when he said, I'm looking through that? the lock. Oh, I thought he was saying, I am a gentleman. Did you ever see pirates? And so he was trying to defend himself. Well, he says that he tries to be a gentleman publicly. Oh, Even gotcha. though he's a creepy, dirty sex pervert. Well, never mind. Piero, I denounce you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I knew it! I read this in pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. So, the princess is talking to yes. uh, uh, the admiral. Mostly. Hey, Piero. Actually, no, I've already bought my shit. Well. Also, that's not Piero. Yeah, there's Piero. Back there. So are they twins? Hmm? No. Oh. There's there's a, there's enough fucking twins in this game. All right. A masked ball. Well, there's only one set of twins you and then triplets, right? The okay, so I always get this confused. I don't remember. One of them Sokolov shit. 
Uh, oh, we actually read this. I remember you reading that to me. Um, it's either that there's just a twins and then a third brother after them, or they're all triplets. And I legitimately don't remember which one it is. <laughs> well, the issue is, is that I see all these people and they all look very similar to me and that might just be my thing where the white men all look the same to me a yeah. lot of the times unless they have like really distinguishable features. But oh right, I was gonna say goodbye to Emily. Emmy. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. <laughs> my doll Mrs. Pilsen was there the day my mother died. We both saw it. Okay. I bet Mrs. Pilsen would have liked it there. Aw. I hope she's safe, wherever she is. Hell yeah. Best of luck, Amy. All right. You sniffling? I love our daughter. <laughs> hey, in the sequel, you get to play as her. Yes, yes, yes. And she is functionally identical to Corvo as he is now. I don't know. I would kind of still want to play as Corvo, I think. But You can still play as Corvo. You get your pick. You want to play as Emily? I don't know. The boy will costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. I wasn't right. invited. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to the boil estate, Sammy. Sir, are, are you asking me to the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's, he's the cab driver, you know? Lady boy. Oh, shit, right. Okay, hold on. Let's take a short little break here. I'm going to put a big fucking trigger warning on this. Oh, yeah. This is this is the one. This is the one where I had to head off Sarah and say, hey, this one is really extreme. Yeah, and uh, so... Don't don't say no, it. No, no, I won't say it. Okay. It's just I wanted to make it clear that you actually, you told me beforehand and you very explicitly uh, asked me how I felt about this and you know, wanted to make sure I was all right with it. And mm. I am all right with what we, how we are about to play this um, because I have a morbid curiosity about it. But trigger warning. Trigger warning for kidnapping, um, imprisonment, and uh, potential sexual slavery? Um, I've been doing all of the uh, uh, cruel twist of fate, uh, ironic, assassinations that don't actually kill people and this is one of them where it would be far preferable if she would have been killed far far preferable so just want to head that off for everyone lady boyle's last party you've been uh you've learned the region's strongest supporter is lady boyle all three women in the boyle family are referred to as lady boyle the wife of the late lord boyle and her sisters sokolov painted this lady boyle from behind under unusual circumstances and does not know which is actually the Lord Regent's ally. You've been sent to the posh Boyle Estate on the night of a costume party in order to determine which Boyle you must eliminate. And they're all triplets. They are, in fact, triplets, yes. Wait, are you serious? These are the triplets. Oh, my God, really? How many twins and triplets are in here? I think just two, maybe? Check this out. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling. Tall boys. We got them. See that? They don't fool around. Good news it's just a man on stilts with a long bow. Oh. That's what I call you. You're, you're my tall boy. Look, he doesn't. Act, he actually doesn't want to go. Better you than me, he says. So yeah, um, I think tall boys only show up if. Oh yeah. Let's take a look at that. Look at how cool they are. Oops. Oh fuck, piranhas. They're probably coming for me. I mean, I said this in the in, in maybe the first or the second episode, but I really love the Jim Henson esque tall land striders. Yeah, it was the second one because not it, Aragon, but the other land striders. <laughs> Aragorn. Aragorn. Oh my god. <laughs> the other one you like. Yeah. Yep. Oh, can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Um, I was gonna mention that those are very similar to a Half Life Two monster which I think might also be called the Strider. It's a long tripod monster. All right. No citizens allowed. So yeah, the tall boy's business is blowing up weepers. And you can see that he's got oil, uh, whale oil tipped arrows. You know, the way that that is engineered. Missing uh, these two. 
with it being kind of like not springy but like it has um it would take like the edge off of your joints with how yeah. it's how it's designed yeah and the I, way that I, it almost like bounces as it walks yeah yeah and i i um you, you know how like some shoes have like spring mechanisms in them like running shoes yeah it actually reminds me of shell's boots in portal one yeah yeah and i, I kind of wonder if anybody has actually implemented that for um i don't know circus clowns uh actually have you ever seen oh fuck the rats <laughs> please my little ratty friends leave me alone oh shit who where oh, excuse me Staying still is probably the right thing to do, right? Oh, no, they're seeing these guys, the Weepers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, that's that. <sighs> Alfred made a really wonderful chili, and uh, I ate it entirely too fast. Yeah. <laughs> that's me, the chili boy. What you saying, Weeper? Um. Said you were chilly. No, I, I mean I make chili. Oh, okay. I'm not cold. <laughs> also, again, I still love this. The masked fellow. Felon. Oh. Oh shit. We can peek though. See, look, it's just a guy up there. It's just a regular guy. And I was gonna say, um, have you ever seen an amputee runner? Like someone in the Special Olympics? Yes, yes, that's, their, yeah. Their legs look a little similar to that. Sneaky. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, uh, uh, sure, I wonder why there's a tall boy over here. Maybe it's uh, rat related? I think what it is, is that if you have... Um, so, so say if you're a runner and you don't have legs and you use like I don't know a peg leg a pirate leg what happens is is all of that potential energy kinetic energy. become becomes kinetic energy and you know it, it goes right into your soft flesh and and in uh, into your bone marrow yeah yeah and, and that hurts and that would yes. be damaging okay. so what we you do is you know around. that would take you know it would transfer some of that kinetic energy. I, I don't know. Like, I think that's how it works. Yeah. That's not exactly my field of science. Though I should know it since it's, like, middle school stuff, I guess. Is that biotech, would you say? It's bioengineering. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Th I mean, the, the, the leg part. But it, like, just oh, the mechanics of it would just be... Um, no, you don't. Physics? You don't see me. Maybe. Sounds physicky. Isn't that that song by Olivia Newton John, Physicky? <laughs> you always do this, and I, I can't actually, like, once you say it, the actual name of the song is erased from my mind. <laughs> Physical. You know, if a professor played that song in the beginning of a phys physics class, I would almost like the class. <laughs> like, can you imagine? Just, I imagine that's what you would be like as a professor. You, you know that song's about having sex, right? Well, physics is just as good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll grant you that. So check it out. We can also fashion through here if we want, but we've already gotten in this way. So I don't know if you saw the tooltip, but it said neutral zone reach. Try to blend in. Look at this bitch. Maddie, don't chase after that. You don't know what's in those buildings. No place is safe anymore. I don't understand what. So look at these guys. Can we get a better look at her outfit, please? Yeah. Okay. So first of all, look at this. The fucking uh black and red, and then the mask. They're going to wear the same. Connor, make make the okay. You make the sound of what that mask sounds like to you. I suppose. No, no, no. You know what it sounds like to me? You know what? That's fair. So look at this woman. She's got a baby doll in her head. Maybe you should. Like, look at that. I'll struggle on once we That's an honestly like impressive. 
That's great. And this guy, this guy has a boring, like, iron face mask. I kind of want to be friends with that lady. Like, she's so creative. Yeah, like, that's cool. She's the type of person I would become friends with, and then they stop talking to me after a couple months because they get bored of me. That's fair. Artist types, you know. Oil party invitation. Hey, man. Invitation, please. Right here, sir. Why is it covered in dirt? When have the boys ever given anything away? Right this way, sir. See? Do you think people who, like, check your identification... Because I've met two different types of people who check your identifications. Ones that, like, you know, barely check it or, you know, don't even check it because they don't care and they're here for their paycheck. Or guys like this where I'm either... I don't know if they're an actual hard ass if they just do it for fun. <laughs> well, consider... That's the mask I'm wearing. They're not checking an identification. They're just saying, do you have an invitation to this party? You know, is it in your hand? Well, no, no, no. I don't, I, I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, <laughs> like, uh, when you have an, you, when you clearly have one. Yeah. And they, they scrutinize it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. Fair. Like when we went to that casino. <sighs> yeah. You notice that they're calling me a sick bastard for the mask I'm wearing? Why? It was fun for us. Oh my, that's really Ooh, hello. Is that mask for See what she's saying? It's exactly like the wanted posters. <gasps> I have the mask from the wanted posters. I think I'm starting that's to awesome. enjoy myself. <laughs> Isn't that great? Alfred, we should host a, a masquerade sometime. You know, this is just like that scene in Spider Man 2 where uh, Spider Man has to take the elevator. And he meets a guy coming from a costume party, and he's like, hey, cool Spider-Man costume. He's like, yeah. And then he lets him go, and he kills Uncle Ben. He really rides up in the crotch, Royals though. Hope you have a wonderful time look, look, they got all the fucking beat cops out here being, being their fucking guards. Like, oh, I hope they have, I hope you have a wonderful time, sir. So we can hack stuff. We can ruin everything. Was that an actual Spider-Man episode? Because I was just being silly, but was that an actual Spider-Man episode, or was it in the comics, or? Wait, what? The thing you talked about, Spider-Man, where he uh, he met a guy and he's like, wow, you know, it looks just like Spider-Man, and it really rides up in the crotch. Yeah, that happened in Spider-Man 2. We just watched that. The movie? <gasps> Tobey Maguire? Oh, you're right. I have a terrible memory. <laughs> yes. All right. Heading to the foyer. Tall boys have vulnerable tanks of oil on their back. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party is a sham. So check that out. Sure they got a fucking guy. Like oh yeah, anyone, anyone could have crept in. So, I rarely do this in the way that uh, allows you to do it non-lethally. But if you Excuse want, chances are very good. you actually totally can just... Well, let's, let's do this loud if we're gonna go loud. You totally can just start gunning people down. And you can see that I'm trying to shoot this guy. Up the and he can't see, but my my jaw popped open. I thought you were gonna get an immediate game over. <laughs> no, no, you can end this in very high chaos if you want. Indeed, my so. All right. Hey, sir. And the boils are awfully rough. Things are bad. Oh, I guess no, it smells like the streets. Been slumming it, have you? <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Something fun happened here. What is it now? She had her job. Yeah, I want to judge everyone's mask. I like this one. Kind of yonic lips there, sir. He's not half the man his brothers were. Half and half bastard. Enjoy the party. Yeah, a lot of, lot of mask uh, emphasis here. It appears my mustache has gone awry. There's a rat in here! He's part of the party, Oh, yeah, that, uh, sorry, sir. Distinguished Lord, guest. Lord Raddington, <laughs> distinguished <laughs> guest. Designed to keep his good friends safe. So, yeah, I can't ooh, go ooh, up there. Ooh, ooh, we got one. That is one of the Lady Boyles. Can we Welcome look at the, the whale real quick? Safe. One sec. I got to talk to you. Oh. There we go. Welcome to my party. I don't believe uh, Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Okay. Welcome to my party. Don't mind the reverb on my voice. So yeah, uh, these are the whales. 
They got big brains. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is an artistic representation or what they actually looked like. Because as we've discussed, whales in this world are weird. Have you seen uh, whale skulls? I have. It's why... Crazy, crazy. Like, that's why they thought, uh, uh, like, gods and monsters existed. Got an antelope there. That's pretty cool. Must Broken. take them forever to swallow. Oh, here we go. I trust you are on the guest list, sir. So, we have a lady boil in black clothing. We have a lady boil. Oh. So this is nice because it actually allows you to get a look at the world map. And I'm pretty sure we're on here. And and you can see that that's essentially like fantasy Europe and then here is fantasy Eurasia. Somewhere down here would be fantasy Africa. Oh wow, they uh it didn't really occur to me that they would absolutely not be living on Earth. Yeah, right. Oh, we got a whale statuette. So this looks a little more typical, but it's obviously more artistic as well. I really like these guys. Oh, that's an awesome mask. Oh, it even has the little mouth parts. Oh, that's fantastic. This guy's a whale. Oh, and he even has the tail. Oh, man, these are great. Ramsey. look familiar. I can't take him seriously without that whale on his Look. I like a man with poor judgment. I like a man with poor judgment. I'd be so grateful. Come on, Connor, we can get our mother. <laughs> the mother. What about your mask? I'm Jane Blair. It's my Jane Blair. Here. I've seen one of those. Lord Shaw is outside waiting for one Pendleton. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> when you go to a party for a mission, but you actually end up enjoying the company. <laughs> oh, I am enjoying this company. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's a really nice little get together they have. Oh, I'm so drawn in. Are you sure? Okay, you're right. This is a really good mission. Yeah. Wait, wait, what are they eating? No, no, no. What's that thing? Uh, wow. That's a great question. No, into the left? It's a shark. Well, no, no, no. There's like a little human. Yeah. What is... Do you see that? That's a... That's a kind of rabbit. By the looks of it. It's been skinned partially. Oh, it looks human. It looks like a woman. Uh, yeah. I don't like that. Blood sausage, nice. And yeah, this like big tiger shark. That's that's kind of radical, I'll be honest. You know, I heard that shark fin tastes very bland, but I wonder if shark itself um, would actually taste any good. I think what is it? Uh, older, a lot of older Scandinavian people will eat shark still. Yeah. They'll like leave it out to, um, and it's in the ice, so it won't go bad. But it does like. You saw him too. Ferment, maybe? I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the Check technicalities it. of it. I was hoping Corvo would be like a man of wealth and taste and like he'd, he'd be able to play the piano like crazy, but you know. Smoking through the moth mask. Good. That's just having herself a fag. Kind of a kind of a flex, I'll be honest. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Oh, look at how look well, at the I strings know between the top. That Waverly's in black tonight. In mourning for her reputation, <laughs> <I'm sorry. Tradition laughs> Lydia's in white. Okay. I like her. So Lydia's in white and Waverly's in black. And the and we have triplets to, to worry about as well. Can we get her number or uh, I don't know, her mailing address, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> Can we get her manservant so we can uh, send her something? Oh, they got a big <gasps> Jello dessert. <Wow. laughs> oh, they got oh, two. Oh, they got two. Okay, I have to pause it because I need to see what happens when you shoot it. Is it jiggle boned? I need to find out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. <gasps> it explodes. <laughs> oh, wow, they don't even kill me. They're just like, sir, just, put away the you weapons. You just a slice of Jello. Yeah. You know? This is how distinguished gen gentlemen have their jello. This is how we do it in the. Oh, fuck, where's Corvo from? Tivy and Isles or something. So check it out. Man in a wolf mask. Wait, wait, is there a little silly tongue? No, he's smoking a tiny pipe. Okay. And notice that it's a part of the mask? What a flex. I love this guy. I built a pipe into my mask so I could smoke. What's up? Shaw. Stand the party either. This is a note from Trevor Pendleton. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to me? 
You notice it's written on the back of an official notice. Pendleton is a gutless lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. <laughs> Wait, what was that note for? Oh, well, you'll see. Should we check the recording time? Uh, damn we'll finish this. Okay. Hurry up and let's see what. Hurry up and let's see what you're made of. What do you think we're gonna do? Representative will select his weapon. <laughs> You're gonna have a duel? Yo, you know it. Okay, so is it like an actual duel where you're, you, where good gentlemen are supposed to fire up or something? What do you think? I guess not. And remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire. Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. <laughs> Why does he want to have a duel? Because I gave him the note that says, Fuck you, sincerely, Trevor Pendleton. So can you lose here? I yeah. guess you can. That's why I'm saving. <laughs> this is a great side quest. The house of pleasure. All right, all right, all right. You get the pleasure of shooting this fool. Stop. Stand right there. Okay. Five, six, seven, Three. eight, nine. Okay, Two. gotta focus, gotta focus. One. Nah, nailed him! <laughs> <laughs> he knew the risks. He was dueling. All right, let's see what he looks like without the mask. And that's another oh. patron dead. What do we do now? It's lucky we're in demand. <laughs> Here the astronauts pay top coin. So these guys are bodyguards, and they're like, ah, another one's dead. Find a little brandy. Well, what do we do now? I don't know. So they got a free invitation to this party because they're his bodyguards, <laughs> and he gets killed, and they're like, eh. Night off, I guess. Yeah, you know, finish out the party. Yeah, that whole duel thing really reminded me of Hamilton. Yeah, a little bit. And I started singing the wrong song. I for think the... it's the. I think it's his cravat. <laughs> All right, we are at thirty-one minutes. All right, that's a good place to stop. Yeah, we'll come back later. Um, yeah. Do you want to do the outro? Yeah, I've been Sarah. Uh, I've been Alfred. Bye. Wait, what's the game? Oh, it's Dishonored. Yeah, it's been Dishonored. Yeah. All right, bye. Bye. That rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of troll we can get ourselves into.